Okay, so today we want to talk about a particular aspect of vehicle development, and that's electronics and software. We mentioned our Omega platform a number of times on this channel. Today, let's have a look at what it is and what it means for Atlas. Traditional vehicles tend to have between 50 to more than 100 control units, those little or not so little computers in a car that manage car functions like driving functions, comfort, lighting, infotainment, and so on. Because a lot of those are outsourced to tier one suppliers, they tend to be all very different and don't really share components while they are performing very similar functions. On the other hand, Atlas's approach is to own electronics and develop them in-house. It gives us a unique opportunity to optimize and simplify the architecture with less control units and less diversity. I have here a simplified version of the Atlas architecture. It's a bit too technical, but the only thing that really matters is the number of colors. You can only see four here. In the previous diagram about the traditional vehicle, you could see 80 different colors. We have only four here because we have only four hardware and software platforms. And that's because 90% of our architecture is based on Omega. As you can imagine, all this simplification represents shorter development time, lower development costs, and higher reliability. To tell you more about it, here is Matteo. So, the hardware is made up of all the necessary systems that are needed to make a portable computing platform. You can think about this like the modern PC, where you can plug in headphones or USB drives depending on what you want the computer to do. The key point here is that we keep the same base system instead of having to multiply it out every time for each application. As part of the central platform, we have all the hardware and software needed to implement automotive ethernet as the main communication interface in our platform. This allows us to utilize the robust data transport technologies that make up modern internet as we know it. Using only one type of interface also allows us to add flexibility and massively simplify our design. One thing to understand here is that when you use a microcontroller like the one we have in Omega, there are usually months of software and hardware development involved into getting these platforms to work. Typically, you will have a team dedicated for each different type of controller. So for example, you would have one for the brake system and you would have one for the internal light system. The problem with this is that this increases risks and costs as the teams would probably not implement the exact same system. Here at Atlas, we've chosen a different approach. We actually chose the same base platform, allowing us to dedicate all of our developer effort into making this platform as robust, secure, and power efficient as we can. Thanks, Matteo. As you can see, Atlas is hard at work to simplify, optimize, and redefine how vehicles are made. And if you are interested in Omega, because you are working on vehicle projects, and you want to build modern custom body control modules, hit us up and we'll tell you more.